Hi, good morning. I was out here. I was not planning on doing a video today, but I found the first of the Japanese beetles. They are now here. So the war has begun. And I came, there were two of them, they were mating. And by the time I got out here, grabbed my something to kill them. I should have just grabbed them. Um, I lost one of them, but I got one. So um, I have not found, I've looked and looked and looked, I have not found any solution for killing them on a large scale. Everything I've seen, it's just pick them one by one and drown them in water mixed with some dish soap or baby shampoo. So that's what I've done. And I'm going to get out everything that I can now to see if I can stop these things because I hate them. Here is the Japanese beetle in the water that I drown it in. Um, it's a little submerged so you can't see it too well, but you know them by their copper bodies. They've got copper bodies and green heads. And so, yep, there's the first one. And now the war has begun. On a slightly different note, my tomatoes need to be um, supported. I had a support on this one, but um, it's grown some little legs here and there. And this one sadly fell over this branch right here. So I'm going to add some more support to it. And I found, I have this um, plant Velcro, which I really like. I had you been using, yeah, you can have those, just be careful. I had been using um, like those green twist tie type things and I just have found that um, they kind of cut into my plants and I don't like that. So this is nice because it's, it's gentle, it's gentle. Claire, what did I say about the tomato? I'm just going to slip that off. No, it has to turn red. Yes, the tomatoes have to turn red first. And then it just like curves over and connects to each other. It's really nice. And it does not cut into my tomato plant. There we go. Okay. Now it's supported, and I think I might do this one over here, too. Just cut off a piece. Bring it up. You know what? That one might need to just cut off. be cut off. Okay, the sun is a little bright, but here also with tomatoes, it's important to prune them. So I'm just going to be taking out some of these under leaves here so it's not so thick because if it's really thick, it can't get much airflow in there and then um, your plant is more prone to get diseases. I'm clearing out all the leaves for about a good four to six inches. Basically, I don't want anything touching the ground for about, I want at least six inches off the ground. And that's what I've just done here. Um, I just cleared out the leaves, made it so it has some airflow, and made it so they're not touching the ground. I clear off this one too, because it actually has some something on it. Okay, and there we go. Okay, and there you have it. We didn't do all too much today, but, um, it's just important to come out regularly in the morning and check for the Japanese beetles and try to get as many as you can and drown them in your water. Just come out prepared. Um, in the cool of the morning, they're not as active and so it's more likely that you're able to catch more of them before they fly away from you. Um, so make sure to come out when it's a little cooler in the morning. Get as many as you can to just try to save your plants as best you can. Um, and then with the tomatoes, hi Claire, she's got her balloon. <laughs> uh, yeah, we just cleaned out some of the perun uh, cleaned out some of the tomatoes today, made sure they had some good airflow underneath, and 
that's, that's about all we had for today because she's ready to go inside. So we'll see you next time. Hey, sorry, one more thing. I just wanted to show these really pretty daylilies that are here. They're just so pretty. There's like, there's four of them that are in bloom right now. And there's this really nice, light, um, pinky, peachy kind of color. That one's just so pretty. Um, I was looking online to see if I could find what kind they were because, um, sorry, there's a motorcycle. Because they were planted, um, they were already here when we moved in. And so I found them at hollandbulbfarms.com. I'll put it in the description. And they're called Children's Festival Day Lily. Really. At least that's a very similar one that I found. But anyway, there you go. They're so pretty. I love them.